Existing is much like participating in a colossal match, which necessitates my proficiency as a player. A vital lesson derived from Neville Goddard emphasizes that life operates under particular constraints and regulations, just as any contest does, transgressing these guidelines results in consequences. Each morning, both you and I enter this expansive playground called existence, making it essential to understand several principles to skillfully traverse through it. One such principle emerges from Ecclesiastes, refrain from slandering rulers, either verbally or mentally, and resist nursing grudges against the prosperous in isolation, for words whispered in private could reach the ears of birds flying overhead. On the contrary, Mark proposes another directive, anything you crave, trust that it is already yours, and it shall be. The game demands faith in possessing something before actually acquiring it, thus envisioning the accomplishment of objectives as if they were already achieved is crucial. Picture yourself in the final scene, the culmination of your goals, and maintain this feeling until reality aligns with your imagination. Another scriptural guideline for success in life's game is, cast your bread upon the waters, for you will find it after many days. This implies that one should not worry about the manifestation of dreams, the entities that will aid, or the manner of their realization. Simply have faith. The act of casting your bread upon the waters symbolizes a creative and psychological endeavor rather than a physical one. The material world merely brings to fruition what was previously envisioned. You must cast your bread with passion, allowing your desire to fully engulf it, for in the fusion of your longing and the object of your desire, what you seek will materialize. A scholar once departed this world as a victor, having encountered numerous setbacks until a revelation altered his life. He believed, it is one state of mind that dictates their destiny, a sentiment I share. Victory in the game of life belongs to those who comprehend the connection between their thoughts, emotions, and their manifested reality. Those unaware of this connection are destined for failure. If they become angry and find themselves in challenging situations, they fail to recognize the underlying cause, similarly, when they momentarily believe in their good fortune and witness an improvement in their lives, they miss the connection. Recognizing this link provides a strategic advantage, enabling smoother and more controlled progression in the game. Many carry the burden of a single day's gloom for months, even years. I remember avoiding certain individuals for their tendency to share dismal tales, attributing their sorrow to family or circumstances, never altering their outlook. Their recurring issues stem from a belief in an unchanging world, thus denying the law of cause and effect where the external mirrors the internal. They assumed that mere prayer and opposition would suffice for change, yet the monotony of their days proved otherwise. Accepting that their thoughts and emotions shaped their future would empower them to foresee their own destinies. Indeed, predicting the future is within our capability. The path may be unknown, but the destination is ours to choose. It merely requires maintaining a positive state of mind, feeling grateful, fulfilled, and deserving of life's blessings. Live daily with this mindset, and support will emerge from all corners to assist in realizing your aspirations. As Job wisely stated, one's state of mind influences their fortune or future occurrences. Feeling impoverished invites poverty into your life, a fundamental rule of this game. Conversely, embracing feelings of wealth, love, completeness, and joy attracts these very conditions. Proverbs states that a person's spirit is the Lord's lamp, illuminating their world. The aspects of your world that are lit depend on your emotional state. Consider what you wish to illuminate, what you desire to manifest from nothing. It all hinges on what you accept as truth for yourself. Everything in your surroundings exists because you directed your consciousness towards it. If there are aspects you dislike, this game of life allows you to redirect your focus, your consciousness, to more desirable conditions. Visualize yourself in your desired destination, feeling as though you're already there. Initially, your light on this place may be faint, seeming distant, but with time, it will shine so brightly that it becomes your reality, your new abode. Play in this manner, and you're guaranteed to win. You might question whether this approach will work for you. It's not merely effective, it has been since our arrival in this world. It's a universal law, accessible to all. The cards you draw in this game of life, be they favorable or not, depend on your emotional state. 
If you seek good fortune, feel positive, own it, and believe in your worthiness, not in anticipation but as an existing reality. Life's rules are immutable, with no deviations without repercussions. Self-deception is futile, for God within cannot be deceived. And it was God who decreed that we reap what we sow, you might elude human judgment, but not the consequences you've earned, for the master of the game resides within, as you and he are one. Knowing the nature of your harvest, if it appears bleak, sell positivity now to mitigate the severity of your fate. Escaping your harvest is impossible, instead, by sowing goodness, positive emotions, and attitudes, we transcend mortality and embrace eternal life. In order to bring about changes in the outer world, seeking help from others, including government entities, is not required. Instead, look inside yourself first, for the external reflects the inner. When you wish to see improvements in your surroundings, stop complaining, withdraw power given to external influences, and let go of feelings of lack. Trust that when you require assistance, the appropriate person will show up naturally, without your direct interference. Your task is to keep a clear vision of the goal accomplished. Leave the details of how it manifests to the universe. Even divine providence wants to participate, so make room for it. Life is a joyous journey best shared with a higher power. Picture your desired outcome clearly, creating a tactile connection with it. Whatever form your objective takes, say, a chair, imagine it is real, something you can touch and feel. Sitting in this imagined chair, experience the satisfaction of seeing your dreams materialized around you. Remember, you are the dreamer, and by accepting this fact, you are already living the dream. Release your hopes into the cosmos, merging them with your achievements, feeling contentment wash over you. Understand that by acknowledging its reality internally, it will manifest externally. Express gratitude, saying, thank you, creator, for hearing my prayers. Consider challenges as a personal test rather than an external battle. We are all connected, and seemingly opposing forces are just different aspects of ourselves playing various roles in the great dance of life. Envy often arises due to perceived differences in status, even between neighbors or acquaintances. However, it's essential to resist judging those who seem more privileged, understanding that we are all linked. Condemnation only leads to negative consequences returning to us. No need exists to request aid from anyone, least of all government agencies, as the exterior is but a reflection of the interior self. Desiring improvement in your surroundings means stopping all criticisms, not empowering external agents, and releasing feelings of insufficiency. If a particular individual is needed for the transformation, trust that they will arrive without needing identification. Maintain a firm image of the final result, treating it as if it were already realized. Worry not about the method, surrender attempts to micromanage each step. Invite the divine to collaborate at their discretion. As we play this complex game called life, filled with cause and effect dynamics and inherent principles, embracing gratitude and forgiveness becomes vital for progress. Often overlooked, these components foster resilience and optimism, attracting what we desire. Gratitude is the acknowledgement and appreciation of the abundance already present in our lives. By focusing on what we have, we increase our capacity to receive, signaling to the universe our readiness for more. Daily gratitude practice shifts our vibrational frequency, aligning us with receptivity and deservingness. It's like telling the universe we're open and ready for more blessings. Forgiveness, on the other hand, offers freedom. It releases us from past hurts, enabling us to engage in life anew. Holding on to grudges is like carrying a heavy burden that slows us down. By extending forgiveness, both to others and ourselves, we unload this weight, moving forward with agility and lightness. Forgiveness clears the path and opens us to new possibilities, allowing us to embrace life with renewed vigor and perspective. Our words and thoughts hold immense power. Refrain from negative criticism, whether in speech or thought, as it creates obstacles along our path. Embrace positivity through language and mindset, building bridges toward our objectives instead. In the great theater of life, patience holds significant importance. When we speak figuratively about scattering our seeds across the water, we need to comprehend that every ambition and vision follows its distinct time frame for maturation. 
A lack of patience might instill uncertainty and possibly prompt us to relinquish our dreams just when they stand at the threshold of becoming a reality. However, if we combine patience with unyielding belief and confidence that our goals are already attained, we remain resolute on our course, thereby aligning ourselves perfectly with the cosmic clockwork. Relishing the voyage becomes equally vital as arriving at the final destination. All too often, we grow overly engrossed by the end result, neglecting the exquisite artistry and wisdom concealed within the journey itself. Every stride taken toward our objectives, each chance for enlightenment, deviation, and even defeat, contributes significantly to our development and transformation throughout this adventure. By cherishing the voyage and placing faith in the fact that every encounter propels us nearer to our ultimate purpose, we embrace life wholeheartedly and joyously. Moreover, let us keep in mind that everyone's expedition unfolds differently. Attempting to match our pace against another's or coveting their accomplishments diverts our attention away from our personal trajectory. Our individual experiences consist of exclusive guidelines, trials, and rewards. By concentrating solely on our own voyage, our own expansion, and our own triumphs, we expedite our progress while simultaneously elevating the overall quality of this shared odyssey. Ultimately, approaching life's wondrous spectacle imbued with delight and trust proves both feasible and advantageous. Rest assured, dear traveler, you embark on this quest accompanied rather than isolated. Have faith in the celestial force guiding you along the way. Picture your intended haven and formulate an intimate bond with that locale. The essence of your focus, regardless of its specifics, should symbolize your desired outcome. As you delve into this visualization, remember that you are a being of boundless imagination, and thus, you already reside within your envisioned scene. By casting your dreams into the universe and sensing the tangibility of your aspirations, you lay the groundwork for their materialization in the physical realm. With this wisdom, you can express profound gratitude, acknowledging, thank you, divine essence, for you have listened, I am confident that you always hear me. This journey, this noble struggle, is not merely a game but a sublime opportunity for growth and self-discovery. Remember, the true adversary resides within, and those we perceive as adversaries are but reflections of ourselves in this intricate, fascinating journey of life.